Hi, this is Pete Gerlach. I'm Pete Gerlach, the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. Uh, this video is one of a series based on Lesson 2, Self-Improvement Lesson 2 in that website, which is about improving your communication effectiveness. I've studied communication for over 40 years and one problem I have observed between adults and adults and kids and kids and kids is that often communication effectiveness drops when one or both people, quote, get excited. One way of looking at excitement, quote unquote, is to acknowledge every normal person like you has a range of emotions and you from moment to moment you go from quiet to active minor emotions to major intense emotions one way of metaphorically describing that is saying you or any other person at any time can have your emotion level below your ears what that means is the level of your emotions does not interfere with your hearing your partner if you're in communication with someone. You can hear them relatively clearly. If you get, quote, excited or stirred up or angry or scared or uh, fervent or whatever, your E level can be said, your emotion level can be said to rise, just like an old thermometer used to do before digital age came. And when your E level is up, your emotional level is up, quote, above your ears, often you cannot hear your partner clearly. Your awareness bubble shrinks from maybe you and them to just around you, and you're focused on your thoughts, your feelings, your needs, and your awareness of your partner and listening to trying to understand what they're saying to you often is inhibited or blocked. The reverse is true. When you are communicating with someone and their E-level is above their ears, they cannot hear you clearly. So the first point I want to offer in this tip is use the skill of awareness, which is the first of seven in lesson two on my website, awareness. Become aware in important communication of E levels, emotion levels. Or if you're having trouble communicating, stop and say, where's my E level? If your E level is above your ears, if you're saying, I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty riffed up here, uh, I'm not really focused on my partner, what can you do? First, you can ask yourself, Who's really running my life at this moment? Is it my true self? Probably not. Or is it a false self? If it's a false self, go to lesson one on my website, learn what that is, and learn how to free your true self to take charge of your dynamic personality. This may mean nothing to you right now unless you've studied the videos and the lesson uh, in the website, lesson one. But if your E level is up, you can say to your partner, I'm sorry, I'm really having trouble focusing on what you're saying. I'm so emotionally upset. You can at least tell them that feedback. Uh, you can also, here's another option, ask them to do a hearing check. A hearing check is simply a respectful restatement by one person of what they, they hear and see and experience the other person communicating. Um, I'll illustrate that in a minute. But if your E-level is above your ears, you can ask your partner for a hearing check. If they don't know what it is, explain it to them. If your partner has an E-level that's above their ears, and they can't hear you very well. And you notice that through the skill of awareness. What can you do? You can give them a hearing check. Hearing checks 
use the skill of empathic listening. Empathy is the quality of understanding as best you can. What does another person feel, think, and need at this moment or over time? That's empathy. If you are blessed with that trait, some people aren't, if you are able to empathize and your partner, communication partner, is excited, you can use empathy and say back to your partner with good, comfortable eye contact, respectfully, when they take a, a breath, when they pause, you can say, so you feel what you need, you're upset because, you're really frustrated because, you didn't like that because, notice the theme, you don't use the pronoun I, you use the pronoun you, you talk about your partner and you report like a, like a reporter, media reporter. This is what I observe you thinking, feeling, needing, and saying. Say back to them your impression of what they think, feel, and need. Do it briefly in your own words, then be quiet and watch what happens. Almost always, a person whose E-level is above their ears, who gets a sincere genuine, respectful, simple, accurate hearing check, their E-level will come down. You may have to repeat that several times over a period of minutes. You felt, you thought, it was upsetting to you because you didn't like, you were hoping for, whatever. When their E-level comes down, then you can resume two-way communication if that's what you both need. So here's the point. This is a communication tip to help you communicate more effectively with kids, teens, or adults. Use the skill of awareness in important communication when things don't seem to be going well, when either you and or your partner is frustrated. Stop and check. Where's my E-level? Where's your E-level? If either E-level is above the ears, um, note that, say out loud, well, oh, my E-level's up, or your E-level is up. If the other person do doesn't know what that is, consider explaining it. If your E-level is up, especially if that's frequent, free your true self. That's the real issue. Hearing is a secondary issue. If the other person's E-level is above their ears, frequently they are probably controlled by a false self. That's something you can read about in Lesson 4 in my website. But for now, uh, just situationally, if your partner, including a child, if their E-level is above their ears, so to speak, if they're emotionally excited, use a hearing check respectfully and briefly. Do it several times if you need to. Watch their E-level come down. Awareness is a very powerful tool uh, which many people underuse in important communications. Uh, so I invite you to experiment with that and see how powerful it is. Um, study lesson two in the Break the Cycle website. Happy communicating.